to you, Conrad. Welcome back to America. How was the flight? Okay. I think airplanes are starting to lose their glamour for me. That was fast. Transatlantic is no joke. <laughs> it gets less funny by the year, trust me. So, what's the luggage situation? Under control. Wasn't in a shopping kind of mood, really. All right, that'll make things easier. Easier? I hope you're just talking about fitting everything into the car. Oh, that too, sure. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry so much. There are some things we need to go over. But that could wait until you get through customs. Give me a hint, at least. Sitting here among all these people keeping America safe? Nah, I'm just gonna wait. Good point. Celia, you got company. Look sharp. Switch to your earplug now. Excuse me, miss. Could you come with us, please? Huh? What's going on? You've been selected for a repatriation interview. This way. The hell is this? Don't panic. You were in Italy to track down Redmond on my dime, got it? What? You may have found him too, only his name is Pavoni. Okay, I hear you. Well now, Miss Kowalczyk. So, you know my name, huh? I never did believe in random checks at the airport. You got no right to hold me like this. I can assure you that the rights of tattooed Americans are not being infringed on here. I am Agent Aikida, and... I work in an interdepartmental task force out of Quantico. It's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Don't let her fool you now. She's a lot smarter than the badge lets on. I'd like to ask you some questions concerning your movements in the last year. And I'd like a pony. Seriously, though, it was a long flight, and there's a bubble bath with my name on it. Well, this won't take too long, I'm sure. If you'll cooperate, that is. Now, this trip to New York four months ago, can you tell me about that? Sure. I was there to meet up with my boss, Conrad Paulson. We're security consultants. He's the one who sent me to Europe, too. It was kind of screwy, to be honest. We'll talk about Europe in a bit, but how do you mean, screwy? See, there's this guy, or I guess most people would call him a myth. Redmond. Hmm, Redmond. Now there's a name. Ah, see? The power of branding. The boss has some wild hair up his ass about the guy, so he sent me to find him. Colorfully put. So tell me then, 
Did you find this Redmond? Can't say for sure, really, but I might have found myself. And that's what really counts, right? Mm, I agree. But I'm afraid that won't hold weight with those Homeland Security boys who'd like to take you off my hands. What? Are you kidding me? I almost believe you myself. Keep going. <sighs> so, I met with the boss in New York for a conference. You know, massages, hot tub meetings with clients, open bar networking. This is going to suck. There you are, Celia. Shall we? <sighs> Time to face the music. Hey there. Conrad Paulson, my mentor. I think he's gonna flunk me today. Sorry, not Conrad. Redmond. A thief is a brand, Celia. And brands hold power. Let's talk inside. I've been meaning to see this exhibition for months. A collector I know consulted on it. A medical company? Anyway, the buyer has been calling me every two hours since yesterday. How did the job go? Okay, uh, there were some complications. And just how bad were these complications? Let's take this from the beginning. I did a bit of research on our charming Mark, Bogdan Losev, also known as the Moose, former Russian mob, currently a law-abiding businessman and a collector of vintage motorcycles and cars. He's gone legit for real apparently. Lives in the Hollywood Hills in a tasteful little stilt house where he was throwing a party. The good news is that getting in was a breeze. When I arrived at the villa, the gate was open, but one of Bogdan's goons was blocking the way. I gather getting past him wasn't a problem. Nah, piece of cake. There. Where do you think you're going? You trying to sneak in, hoodie girl? I have a delivery for Mr. Losa for the party. Go on in, then. You just waltzed by him, just like that. Just like that. Well, maybe you should mentor me. Hey. What? Come on, we have to check the bike. Oh, shit, man. All right, I'm coming. There was a huge crowd at the entrance, and I wasn't dressed for a party, so I chose another way in. Oh, crap. Piece of shit door is stuck again. The rail's bent, I'm telling you. Who cares? It's not like someone's gonna sneak in here. I'll stay by the car if anything. Suit yourself. I'm gonna go check the bike. Mm-hmm. Nice of that door to get stuck like that. Fine. Getting around those geniuses wasn't too hard. They weren't expecting trouble. I started making my way towards the workshop in the back corner of the garage.
One of the goons had the bike key, so I had to pick his pocket. Shop door was locked, but I could have picked that lock with a piece of wire. And there it was, just waiting for someone to ride it into the sunset. The bike was in pristine condition, like it was 1958 and it had just rolled out of the shop. So I hopped on the bike, and damn. I'm really supposed to believe that. Yeah, that's how it went down, but... I did have someone keep an eye on the house when you went in, you know. <laughs> Should have known. So, busted, I guess. Yep. Let's start from the beginning, and give the truth a go this time. I went to Case Bogdan's place during the day. I needed to figure out a way into the house. Borrowing a catering uniform or pool service clothes was one choice. Where do you think you're going, man? Uh, the overalls might give you a hint. Oh, right. You came for the pool. Ding, ding, ding! Hey, look at that, we have a winner. Uh, hold on. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, it turns out it's just me on the low sub job. Marcia couldn't make it. No, nothing like that. It was uh, probably just some bad burritos. There was a pool company van in the yard. Yeah, I can handle this. All right, bye. slipped into the pool company overalls. It gave me free roam of the downstairs. Just had to avoid the pool boss man. Ugh, what pool company uses overalls anyway? There he was, the man of the house. Oh yeah, he's a lovely character.
Bogdan was overseeing the preparations for the night, not suspecting anyone was following or eavesdropping on him. because of those insurance company assholes. I, no, I'll need it installed before the evening. The house will be full of people. I want the new system. You deliver the new system, I pay. What is so difficult? Okay, look, here's what we do. You email me the manual and I'll go through it today. All good, yes? Good. The alarm manual was in Bogdan's office. Yeah, it's me again. So, where were we? Pwah, you know me, I don't like to talk about the money. <laughs> of course I am joking. It was $468,000. Small change, yes. <laughs> the bike will be brought to my shop downstairs. Nobody's going to get it from there, huh? Ah. You worry too much, my man. Relax. Light one of the cigars I sent you. The location of the bike established. The garage.
got all the info I needed, so it was time to slip out. Not bad so far. So, as a local, I'm sure you heard about the $500,000 motorcycle being stolen in May. What bike? That was my hot yoga month. I was too pooped to even watch the news. It was like boot camp, but you should try it. It really... Moving on, then. I went home to dress up for party and larceny. When I got back, I could hear the party half a mile away. The house and the pool were full of party people. douchey guys at the party. There was a cocky looking guy outside, totally hammered, scanning the crowds. What's up? Huh? What you doing? I'm uh, waiting for my... Wait, who, who are you again? I'm Renata, nice to meet you. So, who are you waiting for? Oh, my girlfriend, Gallium. She's not here, and I dropped my damn phone. First time in two weeks we could be together, and she vanished. Two weeks? Oh, can't blame her. I'd bail as well if I had to listen to drunken whining like that. Jeez. Wait, wait, what did you say? You heard me. Drunk whiners like that. Not worth going home with. We're coming home too, you know? I bet you know. Or she does, anyways. What? What did you just say? Hey, stay back! Don't, don't touch me! Help! Hey, you there! Leave her alone! Almost overdid it, but hey, that caught the doorman's attention. Diversion 101 stuff. Well done. The stairs kept the riffraff away from the VIP area. Where the hell is he? <sighs> Pick up, damn you! Hey, are you okay? What's wrong? My goddamn boyfriend should be here, but he's not answering his phone. What's he look like? Well... He's like six feet, blonde hair, beard. Last I saw him, he had his purple shirt on. Oh, he was supposed to be here like a half an hour ago. Oh, okay, I haven't seen him, but I'll keep an eye out. Thanks. The 
welcome to my humble abode. Eat, drink, enjoy. Hey, Mr. Losev, it's awesome that you support street art. What? What are you talking about? A graffiti artist next to your gate, painting. What? Gibbs, go deal with it. Right you are, boss. And just like that, Ogden's shadow was gone. goons had taken over the small utilities room. The decor included a big-ass fuse box. I checked out the fuse box and noticed the industrial-grade fuse for the elevator. did the blowing the fuse part, but that elevator wasn't going anywhere. With Bogdan's keys, it was easy to slip into his office, looking like I had legit business in there. Ogden's computer screen was locked, but it looked easy to get around. I got in and went quickly through Bogdan's computer. Found the manual for the alarm, but unfortunately there was no handy email with the code for it. I got the alarm's model from the manual, though, so I decided to call someone who could help. What's up, C? Kind of in the middle of something, so make it quick. I need to get past a house alarm without the proper tools. It's an IGS-446B. Ooh, sounds like you're up Shit's Creek. Except you could try the duress code. What's that? 
You punch it in and the alarm looks like it shuts down, but actually it sends out a silent alarm to external security. No noise at this end, and I get a few moments before the security arrives? Exactly. The duress code for the 446 series is 2580. Shit, got a dash. Good luck. Problem solved. I can make it out before Bogdan's security outfit arrived. door was actually broken, so that part was true. There I was, inside the garage. Punching the duress code into the alarm system would give me plenty of time to get the bike out.
came up to find Bogdan on the bike, revving the engine and hollering like an idiot. What? On a half a million dollar collector bike? I know. I had to think fast. Oh, hell. The security would arrive any minute. I had to boost the bike literally from under Bogdan. Away, but what can I say? The bike's probably still in the pool. Okay, you realize your little complication just cost us a half a million dollars, right? Yeah, I fucked up the gig. So, what you gonna do? Me? Apologize to the customer and try to make it up to him somehow. Bogdan and his Russian mobster buddies, on the other hand, they are turning over every rock trying to find you. Uh, what? Not you, you. Just a woman whose description happens to match you. As far as I know, they don't have your name. That said, it would be best to keep a low profile for a while. Preferably, you know, somewhere far away. Somewhere far away? What does that mean? Yeah, how does Italy sound? My friend Damiano Altamura runs a team you'd fit right into. Young professional thieves starting their career. Hey, a few months in the sun and all this will blow over. But what about Leroy if they're looking for me? Your son is going to be fine. I guarantee it. The people in these circles don't even know he exists. But I can have someone keep an eye on him. You know, just in case. So, what do you say? Come on, your flight leaves in four hours. <laughs> 